Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a DevOps engineer. I give Sumo Logic a 4 out of 5. For more reviews like this, click below. Before we were using Sumo Logic, we were using GCP Stackdriver, and it wasn't working because we weren't able to combine our other third party sources logs um, into Stackdriver. We also weren't able to um, get uh, security threats from Stackdriver. We chose Sumo Logic because um, a lot of people on our team had past experience with Sumo Logic. Um, the price was competitive compared to uh, the other competitors in the field. Uh, we liked the query language and the onboarding experience was pretty solid. They had some knowledgeable people. Getting started with Sumo Logic, we had to add a Helm chart to our GKE cluster. Um, we added that to all prod clusters. That took a little bit of time, but it was pretty straightforward, and they give you the Helm chart. Uh, we also had to categorize all of our sources in GCP, GitHub, um, and Google Admin. Um, and then after everything was categorized, they could be fed into Sumo, and then we could do log analysis. My advice for anyone uh, getting Sumo Logic would be um, start by categorizing all your sources before anything goes into Sumo Logic because it's much easier to categorize them on the way in than it would be to categorize them when everything's in Sumo Logic's JSON format. Um, the other advice I would have is there's more competitors in the field. When I looked at Sumo Logic about two years ago, I know. Um, uh, like Datadog now has a seam that competes with Sumo Logic. So price-wise, I'm not sure if they're still the best option.